Yo, what's up guys, it's Relic. Welcome to Wave Ninja, and today I'm gonna be going over how to get the perfect 808 slides in your track. FL Studio is really great for this because you can choose however long you want the slide to be. So if you want the slide to be a half bar, then you can have it as that. And then you can also have sections where it's the 16th note or a quarter note. But in Ableton, you don't really have the luxury of doing that. And a lot of times you gotta set the glide time and then do automation if you wanna alternate between uh, certain slides. And overall, it's just like not as intuitive as uh, FL Studio, but that is the only DAW that's capable of doing that. So I'm gonna show you how to get glide times and how to alternate between the slides easier, uh, hopefully. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so I have a fresh project open with one MIDI track that I'm gonna be putting the 808 on. And all I'm gonna do is gonna be showing you real quick how to do slides if you're not actually familiar already. So in Simpler, what you're going to wanna do is do one shot and then turn the warp off because sometimes that'll mess with the slide. And then you're gonna wanna go to controls. And as you can see, there is a glide right here. And what you can do is you can set the time for the glide. Yeah, so that's how you do that. And then if you wanna do it in sampler, is you can just right click simpler and go to simpler to sampler. Is do the same thing, just wanna make it in mono. And change the voices in the filter global to one. And then you're going to want to go to the pitch oscillator section. And then as you can see, there's also the glide and all that and then the time as well. So what I'm going to want to try to do is get this glide time to be in time with the actual track. So right now I'm in 140. Um, and the first method I'm going to be showing you is a third party program that's for free. I found it on Reddit and I can't find the original post, so I can't credit the guy. But I will have it for download on my website. If you can find the original post, I'd be more than happy to uh, credit this guy. But it's called Note Convert, and basically what it is, is basically that. It just converts uh, the BPM, and it'll read out whatever, uh, however many milliseconds it takes for a 16th note or a half note or, you know, whatever. So as you can see, I already have 140 BPM in, which is the track that I have. Uh, and I will be doing a 16th note, so it would be 107 milliseconds. And then just do 107 milliseconds, and there you go, it's in time. Um, the next uh, way of doing it is actually in the DAW itself. So what you can do is, if you want to do the 1 16th note, like I said, you can just go to uh, right click and then go to uh, 1 16th note. And then all you, all you need to do is choose a selection and hover over it. And in the very bottom left, you can see that it says 107 milliseconds and you can do that with any uh, type of grid so if you want to do a half note then you can choose a selection and it'll read out 857 it looks like and that is one way of getting the glide times really fast and having everything in time I don't always do it exactly on time uh, sometimes you want it a little human like so I'll just choose somewhere right around that area and it's a great way to do it, um, but another thing you'll need to know is how to alternate between multiple um, glide times. So say I want to do a half note and a quarter note. Um, so what I would do is I would uh, group this, and then I would go to the macro knobs right here, and then hit the map thing. The map thing. Very descriptive. Uh, then click time and map. You can map it to whichever. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to set the minimum and the maximum right here. So going back to this, the quarter note is 428, and a half note is 856. 428 in the minimum, and 856 in the maximum. And then you can turn map off. And as you can see, 428 and 856. And so all you'll need to do is when you're uh, wanting to switch the glide time is you can just automate it. So you choose a selection and then you choose the maximum. And if you want to, you know, do anything in between, uh, if you want to do like a third one, you would ha actually have to manually like try to find where it's at, which is kind of sucky. But honestly, I think you can only get, get away with doing two. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I can't talk ever, actually. But yeah, that's the general gist of it. Um, it's going to vary depending on the track, and I think 
Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it, honestly. Like, just, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. And yeah.